Welcome to Richard Garriott's Tabula Rasa. I'm the producer of Star Long, and uh, Richard Garriott's the creative director and executive producer of the product. To those of you who might not know who Richard is, he basically founded the computer role-playing game as we know it today. One of the few inductees in the Interactive Academy of Arts and Sciences. You know, the only other people in there are like Shigeru Miyamoto and Will Wright and, you know, one of the industry luminaries, and he and I worked on a product together a while back called Ultima Online, which is, I was the project director and he was the producer, and we were, that was the first really successful online game, and we've been working on Tabula Rasa for the last few years for NCSoft. And it's tomorrow, and I'm sorry to say we're all doomed. Uh, the Bane, uh, who are an evil alien race, invade Earth wipe out everyone we know and love and pretty much enslave the few people who are left and just a handful of people, uh, those lucky enough to know about this game, escape Earth and are scattered to the stars and are fighting against the Bane to try and regain the universe from them. And we're part of what's called the Allied Free Sentience, which was a loose, loose alliance of various uh, intelligent beings in the universe. And you're a space marine, uh, so you've got laser rifles and flamethrowers and rocket launchers, but you also have some superpowers that you learn from this allied race, the ELO. Now, we're an MMO, but we're doing a few things a little differently than MMOs have done to date, which we think kind of set us apart from the pack. And one of those is, at the very beginning of most of these games, you have to pick your character class. And that's before you really have played the game and you really know what character class I want to be. You know, you're not sure if it's a fantasy game if you want to be the warrior or the wizard or the ranger. You know, so what we do instead is everyone starts the game You don't as the same character class. You don't actually pick a character class at the beginning of the game. You're a recruit in the AFS, and we have a class tree, and you can see right here. Um, the first class that everyone starts out at is a recruit. And it's not till level five that you make your first decision about a character class, and that's a a branch of basically do I want to be a soldier or a specialist. Soldier is what you would imagine, you know, I go out and I do a lot of damage and the specialist is more of a support class, a kind of mix between medic and engineer. And then at later levels, you make further choices of more and more specialization. So it's only as you play the game and experience things that you make, you actually make these informed decisions about what kind of character class you want to play. But what's really unique about us is at any given time, you can create a clone of your character. And that character is an exact copy of the character you've cloned from, including all the points that they've built up over time, uh, where your stats are spent, uh, what skills and abilities you've collected, what missions you've completed. And what that allows you to do is you can clone it right before you make one of these class choices. And instead of having to start over like you have to do in every other online game when you want to explore a different character class, you start off where this clone started. And so you get to you get to you never have to start over in our game when you want to explore all the different characters.